Clifford Takes a Swim by Norman Bridwell Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to get them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Mom can help you with that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog Clifford. Today we are going to the town pool with my parents. I've been taking swim lessons and today all the families are coming to see what we have learned. We are going to show them how we follow the pool rules. No diving, running or rough play and that we can get into the pool safely, float, go underwater and swim all the way across the pool. Then we are having a big barbecue to celebrate. My class meets Coach Carol on the pool deck. We learned to only go in the pool when an adult is watching us. Okay. Ready, coach says, everybody in. We get into the pool with our feet first, just like we were taught. Great job, coach says. Now let's show everyone how you learned to float. The lifeguard, Samir, is watching us too. He gives us a thumbs up. Welcome, parents. Coach Carol says, Today your kids will play in the dolphin games to demonstrate what they have learned in swim class. Of course, they'll have some fun too. Coach Carol went on to explain that we would each get a dolphin pin for our hard work. I'm so excited for my parents and Clifford to see me swim. We split up into teams for the first game. It's water basketball. Children, while you are playing, show how you can bob in the water, says Coach Carol. And also how you can push off from the bottom of the pool to jump up and make a shot. My friends and I toss the ball around to each other. Everyone is jumping and laughing and splashing. When it's my turn, I imagine I'm a dolphin. I soar out of the water and shoot the ball. Score! During the basketball game, Lisa accidentally throws the ball out of the pool. Clifford dashes across the pool deck to fetch it. Uh-oh! Clifford, I cry out, there is no running by the pool. It's not safe. Clifford already knows how to swim, but he doesn't know the pool rules like I do. I have to make sure to keep him safe by telling him what I learned in our lessons. The next game is an underwater treasure hunt where we get to show off how well we can swim underwater. Coach Carol has hidden five gems and five gold coins somewhere in the pool, and we have to find them. Ready, set, hunt, Coach Carol says. As I go underwater, I imagine that I'm a mermaid looking for lost treasure. Just then, I spot a golden coin. Suddenly, Clifford dives into the pool. I think he wants to help find the treasure too. Clifford, I shout, there is no diving or rough play in the pool. He swims over and licks my face. That means he's sorry. The final game is a relay. This will show that we can swim across the pool. When it's my turn, 
I kick my feet hard and breathe just as I was taught. When I turn my head to the side for air, I can hear my classmates cheering. Go, Emily Elizabeth, go! When I finish my lap and get out of the pool, my classmate Jeannie says, You did such a great job, but I'm nervous. What if I can't swim the whole way? You can do it, Chini, I say. I have seen you do it so many times before in class. You're right, Chini says, feeling better. I can do it. Chini gets a surprise when she gets into the pool. Clifford gets in and Dog paddles right next to her. With Clifford by her side, she feels even better about swimming across the pool. Finally, it's time for the barbecue celebration. After all that hard work, I'm hungry. Congratulations, children, Coach Carol announces, then hands out our pins. You have all learned so much in your swim lesson. I'm very proud of you. Before we finish, I have one more pin to give out. It's for a swimmer who learned all the pool rules and showed kindness to a friend who needed help. That special swimmer is Clifford. Coach puts a dolphin pin on Clifford's collar and then gives him a tasty bone. Later, all the kids from my lessons go back into the pool to play. This time, our parents come with us. Since Coach Carol had to leave for the day, my mom volunteers to be the water watcher for the kids in my class. That means that she wears a special card around her neck and promises to look out for us at all times. I am so proud that my mom is helping out. Clifford comes in the water with us too. He floats on his back like a big red raft and we climb aboard. I love swimming with Clifford. Do you like swimming? Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy, 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.